What are you smoking there? Havana? I see the word Havana. Cornell and Deal. I like the tin. Mm-hmm. I like the name of it. Cornell and Deal. Mm-hmm. Havana Daydream. How you find about the da- Havana Daydream, Sam? That is, I just got that as a um, mm. sample type thing. That's not really what I like. I like the Belgian tobacco. What's the difference? The, um, the Belgian tobacco is less flavorful. It's more like floral. Look up, look up, look up tobacco manil, Chris. It's really good. It's really crazy. I like the. F- I I don't I don't I like, like tobacco enough. Tobacco manil. But I like it. Like I like the yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, mo- a lot of most pipe tobacco is going to be flavored somehow or or enhanced with like a smoke or something to to make it sweet. Um, you know, and it's it's kind of it's kind of tacky. Go to Google Image Search and look it up. But this, however, is totally un altered on everything click that picture right there it's uh, and i was i was smoking about i was smoking this before it got written up in all these hipster uh is oh, it, no shit. magazines by the way is this the guy Didn't you say you learned about it in fader that's the guy no no no, no. you said when we I went learned, to I, vice no 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 it was way before that um, you were like no, dude it God. was the i was on the way home Damn it. when we were with jonah hill <laughs> and you were like it was it was me you jonah hill and uh mm, look at that though Oh, that's that's cool. what you want. That's the good stuff. But this is a it's is it a vir- harsh. No, it's a it's a Virginia tobacco that's been in Belgium so long that it's evolved into its own new strain. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's just really super good. There's nothing really. It's it's floral. Like you can taste it the or smell sort of a flowery, very faint floral notes. But it's not. Uh, he doesn't do anything to it. He doesn't. He doesn't smoke it or cure it or do any like flavoring shit to it at all. It just goes through this old machinery and into these wooden boxes, and uh, it comes in a gold, gold paper foil. It's really fucking good. Um, what do you like in your coffee notes? Um, well, like, do you like light, light coffees? And, uh, no, I like it extremely uh, harsh. Oh, really? Yeah. I only, I only, I like it the closer to espresso, the better. And the one that I really like a lot is uh, the, uh, I like um, Bustello, but uh, also, can you look up coffee with chicory? This uh, Cafe du Monde stuff. I like, I like that and I like Cafe Bustello because they're predictable and they're, they're, they're so dark and so burnt that they're um, like the little, the little window of flavor where it could be really good or really fucked up. That window's like, this coffee blows right past that. So it's, it's. It's not the best in the world, but it's also there's no chance of it tasting like like uh, sour piss. Mm. Like some like you remember uh, Intelligentsia? Mm-hmm. That did you ever did you like that coffee? Mm-hmm. coffee I liked yeah. some, and I really didn't like others. They just had some bad. You you get it bad sometimes. Yeah yeah yeah. Like if you went to get the thirteen dollar Premier cup. Yeah. Sometimes it was bad. Sometimes it was good. Sometimes it was it was like fucking Dunkin' motherfucking donuts. Yeah, it really was from Intelligentsia. What? With the with the European trained barista, so this this coffee is so dark and uh, like you know whatever they do, what is it, uh, roast roasted? Yeah, it's so roasted that it cannot be in that. Window. Okay, so it's all chocolate. It's all smoked out, charred, charred. Yeah, yeah, that's why wow. I like it. Well, uh, what is chicory? I don't know. It's like an herb. It's like wood chips, it's like Which is, uh, a gerbil key. 